Hey guys, welcome to another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Hightower. So here he is in his uh, crane mode, and I think he looks pretty good. Looks like a crane. He got some nice uh, blue, te blue detail up here for the windows. And again, like I said in Scrap Metal's review, I got some paint chipping because, again, the figure is older, so there's that. But got some nice black detail right here. More black detail right there for the steps. Uh, got the back right here. You just have the combiner port right there, and that came untabbed. Um, does have visible head syndrome, so, I mean, there's that. But, um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it looks like a crane. Uh, as far as, like, articulation, um, this can move up and down. It can, um, actually, no, it really can't rotate, can it? But, I mean, it can go up and down. This can move if you want it to, and the crane arm, or... Can, or the hand can move up and down like that so you can get like that going on or you can pop it off too that works you can get back in that so um as far as crane mode goes i believe that is about it it looks like a crane looks pretty good uh guess we will get into combined modes so uh first thing you want to do is take this and pop it off because you're gonna need that for later you then can take this entire assembly and collapse it in like that. I want to come under here, untab these, and they tab in for vehicle mode. There's a tab here, and that goes into a slot right there. For combined mode, there's a tab right there, and it's going to go into that section right there for combined mode. So you just take it, tab it in like that, and you want to do the same thing on this side, like that and then get that all tabbed together and then you want to take the combiner bag bring it out and you want to take this piece with this head bring that out and then take the piece the crane piece and you're going to connect it you're going to plug it on like so and that's going to be like his thumb and then you right there is your combiner port so you have that going and that is about it for his combined mode so i mean it doesn't really look like anything but it, yeah it's a thing so got that going on i guess um again this is going to be his thumb so and obviously this part you know plugs into scavenger so uh, as far as articulation you just have hinges here and here and kind of here but and yeah he does have visible head syndrome but uh, when I have him in combined mode, I kind of leave, um, his head kind of, like, tucked away. I don't remember exactly how I have it, but I remember there is somewhere that I tucked the head away. But I'll show that off in combined mode when I get to it, so. But, um, yeah, that's about it for that. So now, I guess we'll just get into a robot mode. So, untap that. And I'm gonna leave this off to the side, because if I plug it in here, it's gonna just pop off while I'm transforming him. So, take that off to the side. Then want to unpeg these sections. Then you can come to the back here and uh, you want to take the combiner board, combiner port, and I believe you actually want to bring it, nope, you want to bring it down. Uh, you want to take these side sections and untab them from either side because then you're going to want to bring this entire section up. You're going to want to flip this forward and bring this forward like so. And you're going to want to take this up and tab it in like so. Then you can come to the sides here, untab these, and bring them forward. Bring it forward. You want to bring these down. And the treads here, you just angle them down, kind of snap them in half, like so. And they get positioned like, like so. And then his little arms here, you can bring them forward. You can then bring the head Kind of bring that down like so and then lastly you want to take the crane piece and just plug it back in on the top and you can take this and angle this back kind of like that so and there is a uh, high tower in his uh, robot mode and i i like it i mean it's weird it's very very weird and it ki kind of goes against what a transformer is that's what I kind of like about it, is that it's different, and it's, I mean, 
yeah, it's it's different. But as far as the head sculpt goes, I got nice red for the eyes and black in there for the for the face. So it looks nice. Um, got his chest here with some uh, I don't know what you'd call this, but um, like that detail. And then you have his uh, his little stubby arms here. So you have that, and then his legs, which I mean. Yeah, it, he, he, he's very weird, but I really do like it. And he has kind of a butt. He literally has a butt. So, yeah, there's there's that. Um, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head is on a ball joint. And he can swivel. You can kind of have him look like, huh? You can do that. So, um, he can't really look side to side all that well. But, and again, you have hinges here for the neck. So, you can kind of you can put his face away like that or you can have it i i don't know you can do that um these uh i guess is his legs uh can move him around you gotta i don't you gotta swivel here you got joints here and you can have like a i guess he has an ankle pivot that's what you'd call that i don't really know and his little arms here can move up and down so uh, yeah, that's about it for possibility. I don't really know if there's really anything else you can do with this guy, but you just have him standing there looking like that. So, I guess for comparison, here he is with uh, his buddy Scrap Metal. So, and I think they look good together. Again, he wasn't in the movie, so this is based off uh, concept art, but I, actually they both were, but I think they do look pretty good together. So, yeah. Um, but as far as Hightower goes, I like him. Again, he's very weird. He's very different. Oh, and I guess, you know, you can move this if you want, so. But yeah, he's, he's very weird, he's very different, and honestly, I, I like him for that. I, I just think he's he's pretty cool overall. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be about it for my review of uh, the Transformer Studio Series Deluxe Class Hightower. Uh, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.